Hello everyone. Did you ever ask ChatGPT to do something like create a website or an app for you and it just gave you a bunch of code and you were like, I have no idea what to do with all of this code. Well, with this tool, all you really need to do is to ask your large language model to create a website or an app for you. And it's going to be able to render that website or app directly within the chat interface. It's so easy. Let me show you how to get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is to open up OpenWebUI. If you don't know how to do that, I've added the link on, in the description below on how you can set that up. Now, basically, we can select any model completely for free, like the code Gemma model. And then here I asked a large language model to write me some code to create an interesting website for me. Now, here's the thing. I have a bunch of this HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and I don't really understand all of it. But if I scroll all the way down, it created this entire website for me for Puppy Paradise. Welcome to the wonderful world of puppies. And here I can just add in all of my different images and it's gonna create this website. I can see how it looks on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Same thing here for creating a task manager app. I have no idea about any of this JavaScript code, but I have created this task manager to say that I have a task like make a video. I see what it's gonna look like on the interface and I can just take this task because this task is done. So let's see how we can set all of this up in OpenWeb UI completely for free. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm gonna assume that you know how to set up OpenWeb UI and you know how to download a model from Olama. If you don't, I've added the link in the descriptions, go watch these videos and come back to this one. So here I am on the OpenWeb UI website and here I'm gonna to go to functions. So basically what I used is something known as a function. Now there are all of these different kinds of functions. We have a function to run code, we have a function to Google Translate, we have a function to visualize data. The function that I used is artifacts v2. So it's so easy. All you would do is click on view and then click on get. When you click on get, you'll see this. This is where you would put in the host of OpenWebUI. By default, it runs on open, a local host 3000. I'm gonna click import to OpenWebUI. Once you do that, you get to this window, just hit save. I've already had this, so it's pretty much gonna tell me that uh, you, it's not gonna do anything. It says, uh oh, this is already registered. Now, you'll see the function available here. The first thing that you'll have to do is click enable. Once you enable it, you also want to enable it globally. So it's gonna be able to run with all of the models. And then now comes the fun part, which is actually using these functions. So the way you use them is you can go create a new chat. It could be with any model. It could be with the CodeGemma model, the GPT-35 model. It could be with the Mistral Nemo model. I'm gonna use CodeGemma. And the way that you would use it is you would ask the large language model to generate some either HTML or CSS or JavaScript code. Let's keep it simple. I'm gonna say, write me some HTML code for a hello world website. Now here you can see that it generated the code for HTML for the, a very simple piece of code and it also rendered this, again, for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now something important to know is that you want to ask the large language model to generate some code for you in either HTML, CSS, or JavaScript. And I knew that by looking at the doc string for the function. So when you go to download any function, over here you'll see some sort of a readme file. And in, within the readme it says it's improved formatting for CSS or JavaScript code. You can also go to the GitHub page for that function just to get, see if there's any more detail about that specific function. So there are a ton of different functions that are available and I encourage you to try out different functions. Uh, let me know in the comments what functions really work for you. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.